A change at the top of the leaderboard heading into the weekend at the John Deere Classic. The defending champion looks to make it two in a row at TPC Deer Run. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. Cuts been made, now it's on to moving day at the John Deere Classic. Hello everyone, I'm Casey Black. Thursday, Paul Goidos broke records with his opening round 59. Friday, it was Steve Stricker's turn. The defending champion followed up his opening round 60 with a second round 66 to set the 36-hole tournament record with a 126. David Frost held that tournament record since 2000 with a 127. Now, Stricker's 126 is three shots more than his career best consecutive round score of 123, one more than the PGA Tour record. The 43-year-old parted seven birdies and two bogeys on the day to sit now at 16 under par. By the way, Stricker's first bogey on the 14th was his first bogey at TPC Deer Run since the sixth hole in round three of last year's John Deere Classic. And in the meantime, Paul Goidos was battling Stricker for that record and to hold his lead heading into the weekend. After that incredible opening round 59, he followed it up with a 68. On the back nine, he was bogey-free, carding three birdies. After he made the turn, he followed that up with two more consecutive birds on the first and second holes before bogeys on the fifth and the eighth. He only missed one green in regulation, is tied for second in driving accuracy, but the big difference is the putter. He took 32 putts on the day versus his 22 he took on Thursday. He'll now head into the weekend at 15 under par, just one shot behind Steve Stricker. And the low round of the day went to Mark Hensby, who shot a second round 7 under 64 to sit at 8 under par for the tournament. He carded 8 birdies on the day, with his only bogey coming on the 18th after missing a tap-in to save par. Bob Stevens is in Silvis, Illinois, with more on what we can expect this weekend. Bob? Casey, the two guys who kept Steve Stricker and Paul Guidos from running away with this tournament were Steve Stricker and Paul Guidos. A couple of slip-ups, short putts that they missed late in their rounds on Friday that has kept this a pretty competitive event headed to the weekend. Yeah, the two of them are still at the top. Oh, but this weekend, things are going to change, I think, fairly dramatically because this course is going to get firmer and faster. No rain in the forecast until maybe late on Sunday. And these guys in the John Deere tractors, oh, they can can get this course as firm and fast as they want. We're going to see a lot fewer putts for birdie. There were 1,200 birdies the first couple of days. A lot fewer putts for birdie this weekend. You're going to need to hit greens. You're going to need to get it close, closer to making birdies this weekend if Steve Stricker and Paul Goidos are going to run away on moving day. You, of course, can hear all the action on the PGA Tour Network, Sirius 209, XM 146, and PGATour.com beginning at noon on Saturday. Casey? Thank you, Bob. And if you would like to watch the third round coverage of the John Deere Classic, head to CBS starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And for live scoring and instant video highlights right at your fingertips anytime, head to PGATour.com. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard, proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.